Hey, it's Rokaj, your digital lifestyle expert here, and we're going to show you how to download movies to your iPod or sync them up. Well, the first step we want to do is take our iPod, put it either in its cradle or connect its, uh, connect its cord to it, put it in the USB port in the computer, and come on over here. We're looking into iTunes now. Once you put it in there, it'll automatically launch iTunes and begin syncing, especially if here under options inside of iTunes, you've chosen open iTunes when the iPod is connected. Um, and here we want to choose sync only checked songs and videos. That's a great way to save a lot of time and space on the machine. If you've got uh, 30, 40, 50,000 songs and a few hundred movies, well, chances are you can't put them all into the unit. So this allows you to manage that, and that's what we want to do here. All right, so since we're talking about movies, you can see here under Devices, it recognizes our device right here, and we're in the summary page where we chose to sync only, check songs and videos, and now we move easily up top here to the Movies tab. Now, you can see here that we've gone to sync all movies, and that's great, but actually we can choose not to sync any movies if we're going to use it for extra storage or extra music. We do want to sync movies, so that is checked correctly, but I only want to check selected movies. All right, so we're going to see Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. That'll be awesome. So there it is. Now we can choose as many or, again, simply choose sync and all movies. All right, so since we have sunk and we do carry all these movies on our iPod, I'm going to remain that there. But if you don't want to, you can choose just the movies you want to take with you. And at that point, you can see, because we've had this computer hooked up to the iPod for a while, it's already gone through its syncing process. So now that we've made this change to it, we simply click Apply, boop, and it's ready to go. Now, obviously, we didn't change anything, so the syncing doesn't need any time to sync. So there it is. Doing the movies is as easy as connecting the iPod to the iPod, the iPod to the computer, rather, launching iTunes, which should happen automatically if you've got that feature set on it, and then choosing the movies you want in there. It's just that easy. Getting movies on the iPod couldn't be simpler. It's part of the beauty of the iPod-iTunes relationship. I'm Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert, saying, stream you later.